A thick fog rolls over the Salisbury Plain. In the pale light of dawn, giant stones cast long, solemn shadows. For over 5,000 years, Stonehenge has stood in silent defiance of time, its purpose unknown, its creators lost to history. No writings, no bones, no clues, only the stones. Towering slabs weighing up to 25 tons, aligned with celestial precision, as if built by ancient astronomers, or something far more enigmatic. Archaeologists have searched for centuries, unearthing tools, pottery, and the occasional tooth. But the builders themselves remained a phantom. Until now. Beneath layers of earth, within forgotten graves, fragments of ancient DNA have emerged. Not just bones, but genetic fingerprints from another world. A world no one expected. A lineage long thought extinct, or never before connected to the British Isles. What if the people who raised these stones weren't from here at all? What if their story rewrites everything we thought we knew about ancient Europe? The discovery is real, the implications staggering, and the mystery deeper than ever before. Who were the true builders of Stonehenge? And how did their DNA end up buried beneath one of the most sacred sites in human history? Stonehenge wasn't built in a day. Construction began around 3000 BCE and continued in phases for over 1,500 years. This means the monument is older than the Egyptian pyramids, older than the written word in most parts of the world. Located in southern England, the site spans an area larger than 6,500 square meters, aligned perfectly with the solstices, an astronomical feat unmatched for its time. Yet, despite its grandeur, the identities of the people who designed and constructed this prehistoric wonder have remained unknown. They left no written records, no carvings, just stones, mounds, and mysteries. The surrounding landscape is littered with over 350 burial mounds, suggesting a civilization that not only revered the dead, but may have centered its very existence around this sacred geometry. And then there's the logistics. How did Neolithic people transport multi-ton stones across vast distances, including blue stones from Wales, nearly 250 kilometers away? For decades, Scholars believed the builders were local tribes evolving over millennia, gradually gaining skills. But new evidence challenges that assumption. The DNA found beneath the site hints at a migration event, one that predates known settlements, a people with unique genetic markers, previously unlinked to Britain. If this is true, then Stonehenge isn't just a British monument, it's the final chapter of a forgotten migration a lost culture, and a civilization erased by time. It began not with a stone, but with a tooth. In 2018, during an excavation near a lesser-known burial site just three kilometers from Stonehenge, a team of archaeologists uncovered a human molar buried deep beneath a collapsed long barrow. At first glance, it was just another Neolithic remnant, worn, yellowed, and fragile but something about its position, preserved beneath layers untouched by modern activity, caught the researchers' attention. Alongside it were fragments of cranial bone and a rust-colored flint tool, delicately carved, almost ceremonial. The grave itself was shallow and unassuming, but radiocarbon dating shocked the team. Over 5,500 years old, placing the burial not only before the final construction phases of Stonehenge, but even before the first major stone placements, the tooth was sent for analysis, and what returned would change the course of European prehistory. Traces of preserved DNA, ancient, unbroken, and surprisingly intact. And with that, a new door opened. The sample didn't match any known local population from Neolithic Britain. Instead, it bore the hallmarks of a distant, now vanished people a genetic signature pointing to the shores of the Mediterranean, thousands of kilometers away. This tiny fragment of enamel, 
fossilized in time, would be the first undeniable clue linking Stonehenge to a forgotten migration and to a people whose existence had been all but erased. The team at the University of Oxford, in collaboration with geneticists from Spain and Germany, launched a full-scale investigation. They began extracting DNA not just from the tooth, but from dozens of other skeletal remains found in burial sites surrounding Stonehenge. These remains, some previously catalogued and stored in museums for decades, were suddenly cast in a new light. Advanced genome sequencing revealed patterns that didn't align with Britain's known Neolithic farming communities. Instead, they pointed to a genetic cluster associated with early Anatolian farmers, people believed to have migrated westward across Europe nearly 7,000 years ago. But how did their descendants end up in prehistoric Britain, isolated and interred beneath Stonehenge's soil? The mystery deepened when isotopic analysis of teeth enamel showed not just foreign genetics, but foreign diets, plant types, and water compositions consistent with Mediterranean and Iberian environments. However, not all samples were cooperative. Contamination, degradation, and millennia of decay made the process painstaking. Some samples yielded no results at all. Others conflicted with existing timelines, raising more questions than answers. Still, piece by piece, a pattern was emerging, a story of migration, settlement, and sudden disappearance. The researchers pushed forward, combining archaeology, DNA, climate data, and linguistic clues in hopes of constructing a full picture. What they were about to discover would tie together not only the builders of Stonehenge, but an entire chapter of European prehistory previously lost to time and assumption. The breakthrough came with a full genomic reconstruction of a female skeleton found in the West Kennet Long Barrow, a massive burial chamber located just 30 kilometers north of Stonehenge. Radiocarbon dating placed her death around 3700 BCE, centuries before the first stones were raised. Her DNA was pristine, preserved by the unique alkaline soil and sealed chambers. What scientists found was staggering. Over 75% of her genome matched populations from the western Mediterranean coast, specifically ancient Sardinia and Iberia. Even more astonishing was the presence of rare mitochondrial haplogroups never before identified in prehistoric Britain. This was not a local woman. She was part of a group that had journeyed thousands of kilometers across sea and land, carrying knowledge, beliefs, and a vision of the cosmos. And she wasn't alone. Additional samples from nearby graves revealed similar genetic markers, forming a small but distinct cluster within Neolithic Britain. They brought more than DNA. They introduced farming techniques, megalithic construction methods, and, perhaps most importantly, a new cosmology. They aligned structures with celestial events, not for agriculture alone, but as part of a belief system rooted in solar cycles, life, and death. The design principles of Stonehenge mirrored those found in megalithic sites from Portugal to Malta, structures separated by continents but bound by a shared cultural DNA. The conclusion was now undeniable. The builders of Stonehenge were not isolated islanders. They were the final echoes of a pan-European migration, one that spread not through conquest, but through time, faith, and stone. Picture it. Nearly 6,000 years ago, long before the British Isles were fully forested, a flotilla of long, narrow boats cuts silently across the choppy waters of the Atlantic. Aboard them, men, women, and children, descendants of Mediterranean farmers, carry obsidian tools, sun-carved idols, and sacred stones etched with spiral patterns. They land on the shores of southern Britain, bringing with them knowledge of astronomy, farming, and stonecraft passed down through generations. These were not invaders, but visionaries. They settled the fertile lands of Wessex and Wiltshire, 
selecting sites aligned with the heavens. They built timber circles first, then stone sanctuaries, always watching the sun's arc and the turning stars. For centuries, their culture flourished. They erected barrows, dug ritual ditches, and finally began dragging stones. First the blue stones from distant Welsh quarries, then the massive sarsens from the Marlborough Downs. Entire communities worked in unison, synchronized with solstices, singing to the rhythm of rope and sweat. Stonehenge was not a single monument, but a culmination, a sacred machine of light and stone. And then, silence. Around 2500 BCE, the genetic signature of these early builders fades from the record. Replaced by a new people, the Bell Beaker culture, whose DNA now dominates British ancestry. What happened? Disease? Conflict? Assimilation? No one knows for sure, but the monument they left behind, Stonehenge, remained, absorbing new meanings, new rituals, but never forgetting its origin. A relic of a vanished people, encoded in stone and resurrected through science. Today, as tourists walk the windswept plains of Salisbury, circling the ancient stones with cameras and questions, few realize they are stepping upon the graves of a forgotten migration. The builders of Stonehenge were not mythical druids nor simple farmers. They were descendants of a pan-Mediterranean people, explorers of stars and stone, whose legacy stretched across continents and millennia. Thanks to ancient DNA, their story, long buried beneath soil and silence, has risen once more. But with each answer, new questions emerge. What drove them to these distant lands? What knowledge was lost when their bloodlines disappeared? And how many more monuments lie scattered across Europe, waiting for science to awaken their forgotten voices? Stonehenge? once a silent enigma, now speaks through genes, bones, and broken tools. Its story is no longer just carved in stone, but written in the very fabric of human history. A story of migration, innovation, and memory. If this mystery fascinated you, imagine what else lies beneath the surface of our past. Hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive revelations, and don't forget to check out our other episodes exploring the secrets hidden in ancient DNA, lost civilizations, and the technologies that shaped humanity. Because the past is only just beginning to speak.